Hi everybody, uh, this is Lorraine from Miss Petunia Dingles. Today I thought I'd work on my little, I guess it's what a uh, little journal, um, textile fabric journal. Um, I showed this really fast in one of my last videos, in a kind of show and tell sort of thing. Um, and so I thought I'd do two more pages. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have one here and one there. And so then I'll sew at the top and I have more, um, I'll just add more and then sew eventually down the middle. So today I thought I would use this as my focal point. What I did is I crocheted, um, I really love the color, so I crocheted these little pieces and thought I'd do a landscape. Um, and I use this, um, I don't know what the name of it is, I think it's silk, but I got it in a, um, you know, the thrift store a while back. Um, and so I thought I would use this and choose pick colors that maybe, you know, that could fit in. So I had thought of this as the background. It will be my background. I'll just come up to there and then maybe I put some pieces in there for the like the sky here. And maybe some bits like this. Um, maybe some yellow too. Just to now I took this and I just cut it up and then pulled at the pieces there to give it a little bit more foof fluffy make it a little bit more like that um possibly you know like um that one i don't like that piece um ah there's another piece there oh. there we go there so it'll be obviously about that side um and then i was thinking i could put this here um and now i need pieces in here to create like a background landscape. Now I thought about putting a piece here. Not too high though. Maybe cut it down. I have a limited amount of fabric. Um, and I've stated that before, but in some ways, maybe that's good because maybe it will push me, you know, like, uh, to make the most of what I have. Um, there's that. I was thinking of a piece like this, maybe in the front. Um, let's try, let's try a piece like this. Just cut, you know, just cut like, I guess those triangle shapes, long triangle shapes, and uh, there. there, I want the green on top, um, this is just from an old um, chair cover, it's really old, um, but I like the colours and the texture, and then, you know, maybe I could use that kind of over here, something like this in there maybe I could you know obviously it's too far over there maybe a bit over there I could fix it a little bit like that um it's a bit bare here oh I love this stuff maybe I could use this hmm what do you think? Let me try this. Let me try this. I guess that's the thing with uh, bits of fabric. You play around. You decide, you know, what you like, what works, whatever you like. Now, um, that could go under there. Like there, maybe. Hmm. Now, maybe this over here. 
kind of just a bit like that. Mm. Do I like that? Mm, I think that's too bright, maybe too much. So I've used that one. So there's this. There's this. I don't have a lot of choice here, but um, that one's quite subtle. It's got a little bit of a... So maybe what I could do is cut a piece like there. And I like the piece there that's all kind of... See this? It's all ruffly and gathered. So maybe. Let's start again. So like there. And put down there. I want a bit more of that showing, I think. I'll show that a bit more. There. Put that in there. Not as much there. And then. So I keep saying there, there, and there. Apologize for that. I do mutter to myself. You'll find I do mutter to myself. And there. So I hope that was there. Okay. Yeah, I kind of, kind of like that. Take that off. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, I want to keep it quite simple. Yeah, quite simple. I might adjust it a little bit, but I'll keep it quite simple. I'll put some pins in here so that I can push it down. Um, yeah, I'm going to keep it very simple, and then I'm going to use a piece of this, and I'm going to put one tree there and i might color this fabric this a little bit dark in certain areas and we'll see but it, yeah i just want a very basic kind of tree there and just a very basic landscape so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start pinning i've started <laughs> do the pinning and then i'm going to sew all the pieces together and i'll show you what i have Hi there, so I'm back. Um, I've sewn all the pieces. Um, I made a bit of an error though. I didn't pin it down. I'm terrible for not pinning things down, so I decided to pin that down. Um, so you could see it was supposed to be straight and it's gone up a bit. Um, maybe if I put it when I put the tree there, I could hide that a bit. Um, I used a gray, um, kind of grayish, it's got a tint of blue in it um, for the sky. And I did a straight stitch. Uh, and here, oh, I love my glimmery stuff. I had a bit of shimmer there. And I did all the zigzagging there. And so I thought now what I'll do is I will sew on by hand the sun right there. Um, get a knot going here. Let's have a look. I'm trying not to move too much here. I've got my cat lying under the table here. She's a, a she's a senior cat, and she likes my she likes my company. And sometimes I can't get things done, but so far she's quiet under there. So that's uh, gives me a bit of a chance to do this. So I thought I would just hand sew it. Um, I think I'll just do a little. Um, I don't know the name of a lot of stitches right now, so I'm just going in and then coming back up. It's like a seed stitch type thing. And, okay, I'll see if I can show you there. So I go like that. And then I'm going to go in. And then I'm just going to Continue doing that. I might actually miss one and put one. It's just to kind of tack it down. Um, I wanted the sun just kind of plain. I don't want any shimmer around the sun. Um, 
So what I'll do is I'll continue on with that and um, then I'll show you, I guess I'm going to do the tree after that. With, um, I put the sun on. Uh, I, I tried a, a stitched straight stitch. It's not, it's kind of hickledy pickled. It's not perfect, but I decided I'm going to leave it like that. Um, I'm, you know, not really great at hand sewing, so hopefully in time I'll improve. Um, I had um, this green and I put a backing, uh, iron on backing, so it'll stiffen it a little bit because this fabric really frays. And I cut out some small little trees. If you can see that. So I thought that I would put them here. Uh, something like this and there and then maybe the bigger one yeah, I just cut out basic like obviously triangles and then there and I'll sew them on and then I'll do a little um, a little you know trunk tree trunk so I'm and I happen to, uh, I, I'm terrible at pinning things down, I didn't mention that before, um, but I didn't, um, this isn't straight, so um, anyway, I'll do the trees and um, I'll show you. So um, I've finished it, I did the trees with that um, green fabric and then I used the thread, glittery thread over and I just leave the stems, I'm not quite sure if I'll change that, but that's... Um, I've got so far it's pretty basic um, I might add stuff later um, and if I do I'll, I'll show you what I did so um, I hope you uh, you know uh, enjoyed the video I know sometimes they're a bit all over the place I'm still working on uh, that and um, I just you know doing these videos um, I'm sewing all the time you know to do I have to sew these so Hopefully in time, you know, I'll improve and uh, um, experiment and, uh, you know, hopefully you can come along on that journey. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching and take care. Bye.